what to do if you have low blood sugar. Low blood sugar can be dangerous. It's important to know what to do about it and to treat it immediately. Describe your symptoms to people in your life, such as family and friends, so they can be aware and help you. You might feel shaky, sweaty, dizzy or confused. Teach them about the danger signs and what to do. It could save your life. If you think you have low blood sugar, check it. If you are not able to check it, go ahead and treat it. A blood sugar below 70 is considered low. If your blood sugar is between 55 and 70, take the equivalent of 15 grams of sweets, such as a large spoon of sugar in a cup of water. Don't eat foods with fat or protein, such as peanut butter, milk or chocolate to try to raise your blood sugar. They won't raise it fast enough. Wait 15 minutes and check your blood sugar again. If it's more than 70 and your symptoms are gone, go back to your activities. If your blood sugar is still below 70 or you still have symptoms, take another 15 grams of sweets. Wait another 15 minutes and check your blood sugar again. Repeat this step until your blood sugar is higher than 70. Then eat a snack or meal with protein, fat or whole grain. If your blood sugar goes too low, such as less than 55, you may not be able to help yourself. Let your family and friends know that you could have a seizure or pass out and that usually means you need sugar and not insulin. They need to make a sugar paste by adding a little water to some sugar. The paste is put between your cheek and gum every few minutes. If you pass out or have a seizure, this is an emergency. You need to be taken to a hospital. Someone needs to give small amounts of sugar paste every few minutes as you are on your way to hospital care. If going to a hospital is not possible, people need to keep giving you small amounts of sugar paste. It takes time for the body to absorb sugar. When you wake up, have some food. Someone should stay nearby for at least three or four hours to make sure the danger signs do not return. If you have severe low blood sugar reactions, your provider may prescribe glucagon. Someone can give the injection in case you pass out. It will bring your blood sugar up quickly. After you've had an episode of low blood sugar, your early symptoms of low blood sugar will be less noticeable for the next few days. Be aware of low blood sugar symptoms or check your blood sugar more often. Remember, low blood sugar can be dangerous. Know what to do and then inform people close to you how to help.